Georgia misses out on Caleb Downs, and then, what, less than an hour later, picks up a flip from the Nittany Lions. Tell us about Yazid Haynes. Yeah, Kirby loves to uh, offset that bad news, doesn't he? He's always got a little something there. And uh, and he likes know, to do it at James Franklin's expense. <laughs> I wrote in my commit story that I don't think he's going to get an invite to Thanksgiving this year. I, I don't think James Franklin's going to be having Kirby over at any point. But, uh, yeah, Yazid Haynes, uh, a really talented receiver. You know, don't let uh, – this is one of those situations where you, you don't let the uh, rankings sort of fool you. I think that he's – uh, a raw guy uh, at the wide receiver position, but he has the intangibles to make him special. Um, you know, four three nine at Penn State's camp earlier this summer. Um, you know, six foot one, a guy who, uh, you know, I think he put down a ten ten in the broad jump. I mean, he, he's he's an athletic freak. He's a specimen in that regard. Um, you know, is he the most polished receiver that we've seen? No, I wouldn't say that at all. But I think that Georgia feels uh, comfortable about uh, you know what he is able to bring from that raw athleticism standpoint, and that's enough to uh, kind of sway their decision and, and uh, bring this kid into the class. And I, I think that any time you can add a kid that fast at a premium position like wideout, uh, you always have to take that opportunity. You know, as we're recording this, it's right after the announcement of Caleb Downs. They did miss out on him, but. Um, kind of offset that with a pickup of uh, one of the best safeties in the class and Janelle Aguero uh, last Saturday, um, a top 50 player, at, no matter where you look, um, guy who brings it all, and really was an important guy for Georgia to close on, especially with the feeling that Downs was probably trending toward Alabama. Um, Will Muschamp put in a lot of work on Aguero, uh, Kirby Smart highly involved there. Uh, this is a guy they've devoted a lot of time and resources and energy toward uh, when it comes to recruiting. So, uh, you know, I, I love what this kid brings. Go watch the tape. Um, a, a big hitter, a uh, guy who's rarely out of position, um, and, and a great mentality. I mean, came out afterward and said, look, I want to be the greatest safety that's ever played in red and black. So uh, Aguero, a, a huge get for the Bulldogs. And uh, like I said, just one of many in, in July so far. Um, you mentioned the safety position getting nailed down there and Muschamp and Kirby working really hard. What is the uh, approach from a guy like Will Muschamp, Kirby Smart? I mean, they worked together for so long, you know, going back to their days at Valdosta State. When those two guys are in a room with you at that position, it has to be pretty difficult to say no. Yeah, I mean – uh, you know, the work kind of speaks for itself. Uh, you know, Will Muschamp's worked with defensive backs for a, a long time, played defensive back. Kirby Smart, also a former defensive back himself. Uh, both guys have developed a ton of NFL players in the defensive backfield. So, you know, these are guys who know what they're doing, and kids recognize that. And I think that that's a huge appeal. I think it's a, a huge win for Georgia to uh, have both of those guys tag team. And like you said, I mean, you're not going to find two guys with much better reputations when it comes to developing uh, defensive players than those guys. And I, I think that their work has been important, not only in the defensive backfield, but, uh, you know, across this defense as a whole. I think Muschamp deserves a lot of credit for what he's done um, in, in a number of these recruitments. Uh, dogs also pick up Kelton Smith, um, interior offensive lineman, 6'4", 330. That's a big dog. Uh, even bigger dog, Jamal Jarrett, defensive lineman, 6'5", 365. Whoa. That is a lot of dog right there, Jake. And uh, linebacker Troy Bowles as well. I can't remember if we spoke about Troy last time or not, but that's just where Georgia is right now. I mean, so many guys are uh, committing to this uh, 2023 class. It's really skyrocketing at the moment. Yeah, I think we previewed Troy Bowles uh, probably the last time we spoke, um, but I think we recorded prior to his commitment. But, I, you know, that that's a guy – listen, I, I wrote a column on it earlier this week over at Dogs HQ, and I, I really started to sit back and think about it while I was doing my mock class for Georgia. You know, the work that Glenn Schumann has done in this class rivals pretty much anybody you could point to across the, the entirety of the nation, uh, positional – Wise. I think that, um, you know, to get Raylan Wilson, C.J. Allen, and Troy Bowles, I mean, you're talking about three top 75 players, roughly, or top 100 at worst um, in the on three uh, rankings. And I, I think that you just don't see that a lot in this era of, uh, you know, NILs, guys switching things up. I mean, 
Georgia picked out their three top targets and landed all three at linebackers. So tremendous work. Troy Bowles, a guy that I love, uh, another guy I encourage people to go watch the film on because you can see the instincts that this kid has. It's clear that his father is an NFL head coach. I mean, and, and you got to love that, too. I mean, that's a guy who can be a captain for your defense, uh, that knows the game inside and out, kind of lives and breathes it in a way that many people just aren't able to um, because they don't have that experience. You mentioned Jamal Jarrett as well. Um, another guy like Aguero, where Georgia poured in so heavily for so long. And, um, you know, really, really like this guy uh, for what he's able to replicate in kind of Jordan Davis fashion. I mean, he's he's legitimately a huge person. You can go look at pictures of him standing next to Jordan Davis. I remember I couldn't believe seeing it, man. Him. I could yeah. not fathom that much human in, yeah. in like one image. And they're both from uh, North Carolina. So George is just getting all of North Carolina's biggest people, it feels like. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, Jam- and Jamal Jarrett is a kid who... Um, you know, has had Georgia sitting well throughout this whole recruitment. So, again, another guy that felt important to close on, even more so after Sidere Mitchell chooses Texas. I think that, um, you know, he's a guy that they believe they can take and develop. I think he's still kind of a bit of a raw prospect. Um, you know, he's he's got his best football ahead of him in the way that Jordan Davis did. And credit to Jordan Davis for uh, his work with Jamal Jarrett because uh, they hung out a couple times while they were on campus. Um, you know, he had a chance to meet with him. And I remember one of the interviews we did prior to the commitment, he said, um, you know, Jordan Davis looked me in the eye and said, uh, come here and be great. And I think that that was a compelling message, one that stuck with Jarrett uh, pretty heavily throughout this whole process. Yeah, I mean, when you're Jarrett and you've seen Georgia lay out that blueprint with a guy that looks like you uh, in Jordan Davis, and you've seen how that can help you with your NFL stock, but also help you with your you know college career, uh, I got to imagine that's pretty tough to turn down as well. 